Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Ryan's Tech Guide. I want to say thanks for watching and tuning in. And in this video, we're going to be showing a tool that I talked about in my previous video about how to take snapshots for pictures for your tickets or if you're trying to describe a problem. So with that, let's get right into the video. So this is Windows 11. And in order to find it, it's called Snipping Tool. Now Snipping Tool has been around for a while and it's really worth it. So you click on start menu, which would be in the middle or on the right, on the left top of the search, you start typing snip and you should find it right away. And this is it. This is the app What you want to do. If you want to take a new picture, you take new. They also have other modes here. They have different types of modes for you to take pictures of. So which be normally a rectangle so you can slide it down and create the picture. They have one called windows mode, full scale mode, and of course, free form, which means you can do any kind of circle or any kind of uh, object you want. And of course, now they also have this delay feature, which I haven't seen before, but it's three seconds, five seconds, and 10 seconds. So it'll allow you to do different snips. So in order to do this, you click on the new. So I'm going to bring up Google Chrome, click on the icon here, and then you click on new. And then what you do is you use your left click on your mouse. And you hold down the area you want to highlight, go across. So let's just say here and you let it go. And then snipping tool will create an actual picture of what you're doing. And then once you do that, you get other features. So you get like a ballpoint pen. So whenever you click on it like this, you'll actually have different colors you can use. So let's say, um, let's go with neon green. And then you can use your mouse and write in if you want, whatever you like. That's one option. Um, if you also have a highlighter, do that. So if say you want to highlight Google, you can just run your mouse across. Or if you have a pen, like a uh, Surface Pen or anything like that, you can do that as well with your devices. If you want to switch out, you can also have different colors too. You don't have to have, you can change the size. So that's good too. Good to know. Then you also have an eraser. So if you want to erase, say this, you just click on the area you want, you can erase all the ink or you can raise a certain spot. And it also has different features such as a ruler. So you can draw lines, touch writing, so you can do other writing. Of course, there's a crop feature, which allows you to crop pictures, make them smaller, bigger, get rid of excess that you don't need. You can move it up and down and you click yes. And of course there's a back button. Over here on the right, you have your save, copy, and your share. So if you want to share this with somebody or with multiple people, you can. That's it, that's the snipping tool in a nutshell. Basically, it's a great little program it's a nice little feature to do it. I know a lot of people who use it and I just think everyone else should. So with that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.